Hello, hello, hello everybody. It's Lindsay Sewell here and I am coming in live at you to share with you three reasons why your Facebook profile could be killing your business and your sales. So how many of you would like to know what you can do to your profile so that when people show up, they are interested in sticking around, sending you friend requests, checking out what you have to offer. So you guys, you need to know how to set up your Facebook profile in order to get success if you are building a business on Facebook. This is a really critical thing because your Facebook profile is like your digital storefront, all right? So when I got started in, oh my goodness, what was it? December of last year with my network marketing company. I remember I was trying to build my business in Facebook. I was going out, I was communicating with people in groups and I was sending out friend requests every single day. And then I was getting people, like people weren't accepting them, people were writing me back, going, are you trying to sell me something? And I kept thinking to myself, what am I doing wrong? Like, how do I do this? So I started to learn how to set up a profile where when people show up to your page, you're connecting in the interwebs of Facebook, in groups or wherever you're talking to people on Facebook. When they come back to your profile and check it out, they want to stick around. They want to send you friend requests, okay? You would like to wake up to five to 10 friend requests in your inbox every single morning. Five to 10 new people to talk to every single day who want to, yes, right? Who want to connect with you, not you going out the other way around, okay? So this is what we're gonna talk about. We are going to talk about why people are going to social media, okay? So why do people get on Facebook? They do not get up in the morning and say, I'm gonna jump on Facebook, I'm gonna jump on Instagram and buy things today. They don't, they don't do that. Or I'm gonna just go and spend money here on Facebook today. No, they come on Facebook to, for three reasons. Okay, this is the first thing that you may have confused. They come on Facebook to be entertained. They come on Facebook to uh, be educated, like you're getting right now, or they come on Facebook to be inspired. They want those three things. So, if they show up and your profile doesn't give them that, they're gonna bounce. It's like showing up to a party and there's nothing to eat or drink. Are people going to stick around? Absolutely not. So you have to give them a reason to stick around. So you need to be educating, you need to be um, entertaining, and you need to be inspiring people. I build 99% of my business on Facebook and Instagram. Rarely, rarely do vendor events. So if I want to do that, and if you want to do that, then you need to make sure that your profile or your digital storefront is in really good order, okay? The second thing that you may be doing um, is not having a good profile photo. So your profile photo should not be your company brand. Um, it really ideally shouldn't be uh, your pets, your kids, even a picture of you with your significant other or spouse. It should be you, your face. This is you, this is your digital storefront. And it should be a smiling picture, right? You should be warm, you should be inviting, you should get people to want to come to you and do more checking out on your profile when they see your picture. If you have like a quote, or you have a brand or something like that, that is immediately gonna put up resistance. People are going to wonder if one, either it's a fake account, or two, they're going to think that all you're gonna try and do is sell them something. And this leads me into my third point, which is you have to talk about what's in it for them, okay? And when you, when your picture and your content is all about you trying to sell something to people, that puts up resistance and that's about you and not them. 
okay? So people, like I said, they're not coming to Facebook to shop, but they love, love, love to have their problem solved. So if your content is speaking to them and what's in it for them, they are far more likely to stick around and want to check it out and keep keep checking out your profile, not bouncing. It's these small little tweaks that sometimes we don't know how we're hurting our own business. And once you do, you can really start putting this into practice, right? So if people are, are coming to your page and you're educating, you're inspiring, you're entertaining, and you're, you're talking about what's in it for them, guess what happens when you do something business related? You get people who start raising their hands, they start liking, they start commenting, and they're like, yes, Yes, I want it. I want whatever it is you have, okay? You build that no like and trust factor with them and then when you do have something that solves a problem for them, they raise their hand and they want it. Here's a really good example. I'm gonna give you another one, a really good example of one that creates a lot of resistance. It's like a little freebie tip. Uh, and I see it all the time. And if it's you, like please, no offense, um, just know that this is probably not very effective. So you'll see a lot of people post, um, it'll be coming towards like the end of the month or they'll have a big goal for their company and they'll post, I'm going for a big goal this month. I got to get $200 more or three more customers. And you know, who wants to help me out reach my goal? Would you buy from them? Does that do anything for you? Like it's all about them. It's all about them hitting their goal and you're just like, basically like an object to get to their goal. You're not sol you know, they're not, it's not solving the other person's problem. The person who's looking at that is gonna go, no way, like, I don't want that, I don't need that. Maybe their mom and sister buy from them to help them hit their goal, but the other people out there, I promise you 99% of people, that is gonna turn them off, it is going to raise their resistance, and they very well may like either ignore all of your, if they don't unfriend you or unfollow you, which happens to people when they start becoming kind of spammy like that, they may very well just ignore everything that you're posting, and so you don't get any likes, you don't get any engagement, and you don't get anybody raising their hand. So last time I did a um, Facebook challenge, I did a lead generation Facebook challenge. It was a big hit and one thing we talked about was how to set up profiles. And I had a ton of you guys reach, raising your hands, all the people in my Facebook profile group, they were working on their profiles in day one and I had a bunch of them raise their hand and say, I want you to take a look at mine. Can you look at mine? Can you check it out? Can you see if I, you know, implemented what you're trying to say? I know that you guys really want to run successful businesses online and you are looking for this. So I started thinking like, what could I do? So I put together a profile review program, you guys. Okay. This is going to be um, a package that I'm putting together. It's going to be super, super affordable. I have Zoom now, so I'm gonna give you a one-on-one -on -one 20 minute consult where I am going to take, a, I'm gonna open up the screen, I'm gonna go through your profile with you and give you exact tips on what you need to change so that you become way more attractive to your potential customers and prospects. And because I love to over deliver, I am gonna teach you um, the exact things that I use to make really beautiful visuals, like quote visuals, photo visuals, and I am going to give you a um, specific example for whatever your niche is. You'll give me your company name information and what you sell, and I will give you an example of how you could craft a business-related post that would generate curiosity and get people to raise their hand instead of put up resistance.